When you're researching different types of metal roof materials, it can be confusing to keep all the different brands and trade names straight. Today, we're discussing Zincaloom and Galvaloom. By the end of this video, you'll learn the very simple difference between the two and understand what they are, their formulation, and their history. What's up guys, welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. I'm Thad Barnett. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. We release metal roofing and metal construction content every Monday and Wednesday. Well, what's the difference between Zincaloom and Galvaloom? I'll give you a short answer and then we can talk about what they are and a little bit about their history. The short answer is there's no difference other than the name and who sells them. Both are a 55% aluminum zinc coating on a steel substrate. Let's get into the details. And I'm gonna throw out a lot of names, so pay attention. The name and production of Galvaloom is owned and licensed to steel companies for manufacturing by BIEC International Inc., which is owned by Blue Scope Steel. The steel companies licensed to manufacture Galvaloom sometimes do so under different trade names, and in this case, Zincaloom is one of them. Zincaloom is used by Blue Scope Steel globally and Steelscape in the US. Companies that use the name Galvaloom in North America include Arcelor Middle DeFasco, US Steel, Wheeling Nishin, Steel Dynamics, and AMNS Calvert. Turnium USA and Turnium Mexico use the name Galvao, Syncaloom, or Zintro Alum. The important thing to remember about purchasing Galvaloom anywhere and under any name is ensuring that it's the correct mix of 55% aluminum, 43.5% zinc, and 1.5% silicone and is manufactured with the appropriate coating weight of a minimum AZ50 or AZ55. AZ50 indicates 0 0.50 ounces of coating applied per square foot, which is usually used for material that would be painted, and AZ55 indicates 0.55 ounces of coating applied per square foot, which is usually used for material that will be unpainted. Now that you know the difference between Galvaloom and Zincaloom, and really any of the trade names I mentioned earlier, Let's talk about the specifics of what they actually are. Steel naturally rusts, so various coatings have been developed to help prevent that and stop the spread of rust if it does happen. In the case of Galvaloom and its associated trade names, it's made up of a combination of mainly zinc and aluminum. Zinc provides galvanic protection, which means it will sacrificially corrode to save the steel beneath it, and aluminum provides a barrier protection to help prevent oxidation altogether. The combination of the two give excellent corrosion resistance over time. Galvaloom has been around for a while and it's proven to stand the test of time. It was developed and sold commercially by Bethlehem Steel starting in 1972. According to steelroofing.com, an estimated 80 billion square feet of Galvaloom sheet steel has been installed for roofing across the globe. Well, I hope this helped clears up the difference between Galvaloom, Zincaloom, and other trade names out there. If you have any questions, comment down below. Subscribe here to the Metal Roofing Channel, and as always, I'm Thad Barnett, and we'll catch you next time.